Hello everyone, I decided to put up another CRT TV repair video because I have another CRT TV to repair, so let's go. This time it's Panasonic model problem does not turn on makes high pitch noise when I try to. Okay, I hope you can hear it. Basically, this noise is more most likely is the power supply having trouble with overloads because uh, the power supply is overloaded by something. It can be a bad shorted cap on the output. It can be other dead component, for example, like flyback driver transistor. It can it can also be mm, bad rectifier on the secondary side of the switch more power supply. I don't know yet, so I'm gonna stop filming now, I'm gonna take it apart, see what the problem is, if I can find it, and I'm gonna return to you later. And a bit of safety. Here how I discharge picture tube. You need a screwdriver with nice insulation and a jumper clip, jumper wire with crocodile clips or alligator clips, whatever. Take a uh, free end of alligator clip, one end connected to screwdriver, other end to ground somewhere. I like to use this strap which connects the outer aqueduct. And then I hold my... Uh, I'm using a flat head screwdriver by the way. Then I hold the screwdriver by the end like that. And I just move it inside like this. And you'll hear a click probably. Barely, but still a nasty shock. And I'd like to make a nice contact and leave it like that and just leave. By the way, picture tube can restore its charge even though I shorted it out after some time. It's okay. So I did a quick research uh, on the internet and found that Similar Panasonic TVs suffer from problem where protection diode on secondary side shorts out. And that protection diode after quick inspection came to be this fella. D835. It's a weird looking less passive weighted diode. And when I test it with my meter in beeper mode. I'm on purpose making reverse polarity here. Beeps in both directions. I'm gonna pull it out and see exactly. Yeah, that's him. This fella is Gonski. Man. Dead short. So I'm gonna look up on the internet. Can I leave it without this protection diode? Or should I really bother buying replacement? Or making some kind of stuff like a couple of Zener diodes in series parallel to do the same job? It has marking which says 56. And I think it can be voltage. Anyway, we will see. I did some research and yeah, that's a basically a 56 watt, blow, excuse me, 56 volt, 1 watt 
Zener diode, which is sitting on 42 volts rail on this chassis. And that's here to protect uh, from over voltages because in uh, operating mode the voltage is 42 volts, but in standby it can raise up to 50 volts. By the way, fellas recommended to change a few caps if I'm here. I did uh, look um, other caps like the chunky ones, like this guy, that guy, large stuff. And they are okay, more or less, except this one 10 microfarad, 50 volts, or it's kind of high ESR, but I'll see. And uh, what that guy recommended, if you're changing that Zena diet, also he recommended to me to change, not me, anybody who repairs this set to change these two caps as well. They are in power supply section and they are, uh, he says, when they go dry, the ESR rises and that causes uh, voltage spikes on the output. Can it be? Could be, yeah. Sounds like true. So I'm gonna probably go to my laptop, order 56 volt, 1 amp, 1 volt, 1 watt, damn it. 56 volt, 1 watt diode, as well as 47 mic by 50 volts in quantity of two pieces, as well as probably 10 microfarad to 150 volt. But I'm gonna look up more and I honestly don't really like this fella. Check it out. And it's not bulged yet, but man, can you see how plastic is shrink here? Uh, good looking cap usually looks like this can see how plastic nicely wrapped around, but look at this fella. Oh boy. This guy, when this guy blows, there's gonna be uh, some severe BAM. So with this one, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take them out and uh, check their um, capacitance as well, because their ESR is normal, but maybe they're losing capacitance or they're leaky. I don't know. Anyway, so that's it for this video, I'm gonna go and uh, order some parts and maybe then I'll post another video with this set repaired. Anyway, thanks for watching, see ya! I kinda said goodbye, but boy, I just can't leave without showing how bad these caps are. It's uh, that for two caps I was talking about, one was Senwa, not any, and the person claims that this set haven't been, has not been repaired, or well, my grammar sucks. So basically, this set was not repaired. I don't think so. Not even one Senwa original cap, and this is plus tons of flux residue. It's not from me. I do clean up after my, my jobs. And these two caps, let's test this one, shall we? Oh boy, so it's clipped, test. Mm, kind of okay, slightly leaky, but let's have a look at other. So this fellow connected, whatever brand it is. And let's have a look. Check it out. 100 ohms of ESR. 17% voltage loss. Alright, capacitance. Ridiculous. Disgusting. Absolutely wrong ESR. And oh my god, 17 volt percent voltage loss and, and 100 ohms 100 freaking ohms I don't even know how that power supply worked with it 